Hi family, uh, I am about to make some delicious, moist, super easy strawberry cake. I haven't decided what I'm going to call it yet. Uh, I think, um, hmm, make it exciting. Sinful strawberry passions, strawberry cake. <laughs> um, but this cake is going to be so easy. I'm going to be using some fresh strawberries to make it special. Um, and I'm also going to be adding some uh, cream cheese and sour cream. So um, it's going to just have a burst of flavor. Um, it's going to be super easy and super simple because I am just using a boxed cake mix, which keeps things very easy. Um, so stick around for my easy, uh, sinful strawberry passion strawberry sheet cake. That's what I'm calling it, I think. I'll have figured it out before the end of this vlog. But um, I want to thank you guys for being positive. The positive, wonderful people who have been encouraging since I started this channel in April um, of this year. I have met some amazing people. Um, they also have really cool channels um, and have made some great friends so far. Uh, and I want to thank any new subscribers. I want to thank friends for watching, sharing, liking, commenting. Um, thank you for being a friend. And take care. Let's get into this easy strawberry uh, cake recipe. Five, four, three, two, one. Here it comes. All right, y'all, strawberry cake. I'm getting ready to make this scrumptious, delicious, moist, tender, special strawberry cake. I got some boxed strawberry cake, super moist cake mix, oil, cooking spray, three eggs. I have a little whipped cream cheese frosting. I have a package, and one eight ounce uh, package of cream cheese unflavored cream cheese plain cream cheese have some sour cream do a dollar for daisies i always got that daisies in my fridge for whatever reason i use it all the time got my big bowl my spoon and my baking pan and i'm about to make this sinful strawberry passions uh strawberry sheet cake and it's going to be fabulous so stick around, here it comes, right now. Hey y'all, I almost forgot my fresh strawberries. Don't ask me how I forgot to have these in the opening shot. But I got these foxy, look at them. They're gonna be foxy, just like my cake. My cake is gonna be foxy. A foxy, simple strawberry cake. Look at those big, juicy, ripe strawberries some of these strawberries are going to go inside my cake some of these strawberries are going to go along with the icing uh topping cream strawberry cream cheese uh icing topping frosting whatever you want to call it to top my cake and like i said it's going to be fabulous but fresh strawberries if you're going to make this this is what makes it this is what makes this cake special any type of fresh ripe strawberries that you have that you can get your hands on okay and I've eaten a couple of them as you can see they are delicious juicy right all right no fooling around I'm getting ready to start this recipe uh here it come y'all all right y'all let's get this cake let's get this cake together the dry and wet ingredient um, so there's my strawberry Super moist strawberry cake mix. You can use any kind of strawberry cake mix you want. You can also use just a yellow cake mix and add your fresh strawberries to it or, um, you know, uh, grind your strawberries up in the food processor and add it to some yellow cake mix. But this is so easy and it's so delicious. It adds a super burst of flavor when the strawberry flavor is already in the cake mix uh, like this. And it's a nice little light strawberry color which I love. It makes it really fun and it makes it pop. Um, so there's my strawberry cake mix. Um, gonna add a dollop of 
sour cream. I know my eggs are fresh because I've already cracked them. My three eggs and put them in that little bowl. Uh, my grandmother told me to always crack eggs in a separate bowl before adding them to anything. That's how you know, you know, if you just in case you get an egg that's not fresh. Um, a third of a cup of oil. I'm just eyeballing it. Um, don't forget that that sour cream is going to impart a lot of moisture, moistness to this cake batter as well. Um, and I always add water to my batter, um, you know, until it is just moist enough. So I have my mixer here. But, you know, I'm very old school and a lot of times I just like to mix by hand. Um, I can already tell this is going to need some more water. So add water according to your cake mix directions. I think it usually says um, a cup of water, but sometimes I don't need an entire cup of water. For this, I have used, I would say about three fourths of a cup of water, so almost a cup. Um, and then, you know, you can always add more, you can always add more water if you need it. But because I added that sour cream, that's going to add, you know, a little, like I said, more moistness. So you don't need as much water. Um, you don't have to overbeat this mix. It's not lumpy at all. I haven't even used my mixer. I'm just using beating it by hand. I have some strawberries and I forgot to mention, please, please, please take your strawberries and wash them off and soak them. So when I get these out, I'm going to be soaking them and washing them. I've already soaked and washed these strawberries. I've chopped them up. That is about, I would say, a cup and a half of fresh strawberries. Fold them in. Not mixing, just fold them. And you don't want your strawberries to be in big, huge pieces. Um, the reason why you don't want them to be in big, huge pieces is because um, it'll make the surrounding cake batter wet. The moisture as it bakes from the strawberry. And you don't want that. I did some muffins one time and I used, you know, huge chunks of strawberry. And it was good, but it was so wet <laughs> in places. So... Um, this is good. Don't want to overmix it to death. We want our cake to be nice and moist and tender, right? Okay, what's next? <clears throat> My oven is preheating to 350. I like my cake to sit for about like five minutes. Um, you know, as I'm waiting for the oven to preheat. I do that with pancake batter as well. I feel like it, it gives it a chance to get a little bit of air into it and get a little fluffier. Maybe that's just me, but um, I've got a little cooking spray. If you've got butter, um, non-stick spray, that's even better. Um, you'll see people doing one little spray or two little sprays. I like to generously coat this. And some may say, oh, well, that's too much, but hey, my cakes don't be sticking. Ha ha. Um, <laughs> so um, I'm left handed, so usually I will be turn have this bowl turned the other way, but because I want you guys to see. And doesn't that look beautiful? So this cake, this cake is perfect for anybody. Uh, for any time, for a a grad for graduation, for um birthdays, for Easter, for Christmas, for the spring, especially for the spring, since there's strawberries in it. Um, for you know <clears throat> after for Sunday dinner. For any time, you know, this cake is perfect. Um, and my hands are clean. 
but I'm just going to get that last. I always say clean hands are some of your best kitchen tools. Make sure you get the cake to the sides. Um, you know, sometimes a cake is all fluffy in the middle and then the sides are like kind of like if you smooth it out to the sides it'll be even it really will be um so that's good so i'm going to get this cake once my oven preheats it's preheating to 350 like i said i like it to sit for a little bit but i'm going to Get my uh, my cake into my preheated oven, 350 um, degrees, and it's in this sheet pan. I'm going to do, um, for a sheet pan, this is 13 by 9, I'm going to do um, between 25 and 28 minutes and check it. At 25 minutes, I'm going to check it. Um, you know, I never go by the exact times that they say for cakes or pies or anything like that. I always have a roundabout time and then I check. So my roundabout time is 20 eight minutes and I'm going to check it at about the 25 minute mark um, so just waiting for my oven to preheat I am going to um, get started on my frosting once I get my cake into the oven and my frosting is just going to be um, this cream cheese and some already pre-made whipped frosting and some fresh strawberries. It's gonna be so simple and so easy. But for now, I'm waiting for my oven to preheat, get this beautiful cake. It's already looking pretty. Um, it's gonna be even more gorgeous out of the oven. So I'll be right back. So I'm gonna get this cake into my oven, 350 degrees. It's around about 28 minutes. At 25 minutes, I'm going to check it. Alright guys, my cake is out of the oven, my strawberry cake. You see that it has a nice little light, slight golden brown uh, top. And um, you can see that strawberry kind of sort of peeking through um, in little intervals there. Um, when I touch it, it is still very moist and soft. That's how soft, uh, moist this cake is with that sour cream. Um, the oil, the sour cream, and those fresh strawberries uh, add to the moistness, and it's already a box of super moist strawberry cake mix. So, um, this cake took about 25 to 26 minutes in my oven. You will have to adjust your oven for um, bake times. Um, all ovens are not the same. All air fryers are not the same. All microwaves are not the same. But most certainly all ovens are not the same. So, you know, I've baked cakes and I've taken, it, it has taken 30 minutes. I've baked cakes where it's taken 20 minutes. I've baked a cake 25 minutes, 23 minutes. You just never know. You have to check it though. So at the 23 uh, minute mark, 20 minute mark, uh, I checked it. So um, that's all the time that this cake took. So this cake took less than the 28 minutes that I thought it was going to take. So I'm just going to let this cool off for about 30 minutes. Um, my cream cheese is sitting. It's going to get nice and soft. I'm going to whip it together to make my frosting. I'm about to soak and wash my fresh strawberries off. That's going to be uh, uh, to going towards the topping for my frosting as well. Um, this cake smells amazing. It smells like fresh strawberries. It smells so wonderful in here. Um, I wish I had smell vision. Anyway, let this cake cool off. I'm going to go do something else, probably get my pot roast together, and uh, I'll see you guys back here very soon. All right, guys, this frosting is getting ready to get done up real easy. I got some softened cream cheese here. Um, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And cream cheese is nice and soft. So I'm just going to mix it like that. Um, you want your cream cheese. I'm going to use my beater, my mixer. But you want your cream cheese to be very soft. You do not want to fool around with any cold cream cheese ever. <laughs> it is a clumpy lumpy mess if your cream cheese is cold so let it sit and get to room temperature or microwave your cream cheese on very low power like 40 percent 
for about two minutes and check on it um, at like 30 minute or 40 minute increments. Soften it. You don't want it hot. You don't want it bubbling. You don't want it steamy. You just want it to be melted and smooth and creamy. I have some whipped cream cheese frosting that has been sitting out so it is very soft and I want this whole tub I want the whole tub of this for my she cake I'm just going to incorporate the cream cheese in easy peasy um, <laughs> I'm gonna use my beater because I want to get this really smooth and creamy and I want to get um, air into this and thicken it up a bit so um, low power I'm just going to beat this until it is smooth and creamy about uh, two to three minutes. So family, what you get is something that looks like this. That tub of whipped cream cheese that has been sitting at room temperature and um, I'm sorry, that tub of cream cheese frosting, whipped cream cheese frosting that was sitting at room temperature and that eight ounces of cream cheese that you let soften or uh, microwaved until it got soft but anyway soften cream cheese and soften with cream cheese icing it should look like this um, I'm going to let this sit in my refrigerator for about 15 minutes I want it to set up a little bit more and then it's going to be time to uh, frost my cake and uh, get my fresh strawberries on so 15 minutes in the refrigerator to set up a bit get nice and chilly and um, then I will return. <laughs> Y'all, this cake is cooled off and it is time to start icing it. This is, of course, for me to lick. <laughs> um, so I've had this cream cheese frosting in my refrigerator chilling out for about 15 minutes. Um, you want the frosting to chill out, chill up, and you're also going to put this back in the refrigerator. I hate that. Look what that did. That little piece. You also are gonna let wanna let this to let this sit in your chilled refrigerator once you're done with it. Um, you wanna eat it within two to three days. So I would say one to three days. So And you just want to smooth. You don't want the icing to be too thick. This is like kind of a happy medium. It's kind of in between. It's not too thick. It's not too thin and runny. Um, if I were doing a butt cake with this strawberry cake batter, I would probably do this as a drizzle and it would be thinner. But this is a sheet cake. So I'm going to smooth this out until I like it um, and then get my strawberries on. So I cleaned the cake up around the edges. I spread it out and smoothed it out the way to my liking. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, everything that I make here on this channel is going to look rustic, which is uh, a cool way of saying homemade. Everything that I make is going to be looking homemade because 
I am a woman in her kitchen, um, you know, cooking, making stuff. It's just me, you know. I don't have any bells or whistles. There's nothing fancy. This is just, you know, old school, down home type um, stuff that I'm making here. So <laughs> I have some fresh, those fresh strawberries. I have washed them off. I soaked them. I washed them off rinsed them off, um, patted them dry. You can see they're still juicy. They're very ripe. You want strawberries for this that are not disintegrating, like going bad. That's how ripe they are. But you want them to be ripe and juicy. So you don't want them ripe to the point that they're about to go bad, but you want them to be just to the point where they're turning really like super juicy like this. Um, and you don't want them to be wet with the water once you rinse um clean your strawberries off please clean your fresh fruit off strawberries anything you get make sure you rinse it off pat it dry make sure it's clean um but i'm going to just um start dumping strawberries <laughs> on this cake and you don't have to worry about you know is it you know right side up upside down just um just decorate your cake however you want with the strawberries um some strawberries are very small some of the strawberries are bigger but you do want a nice amount of strawberries on um this cake so And I might have like three more strawberries that I want to add to this. Doesn't that look delicious? And like I said, so rustic and homemade and homespun. I love homespun things. Um, my grandmother was a very homespun woman, homespun person. And I'm a very simple homespun woman as well. Um, I was even a simple homespun teenager so and, and child. So um, this is going to go in my fridge for uh, about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to take it out, I'll show you my finished um, strawberry. Feel free if you'd like to add sprinkles to make it special. Imagine some like little, you know, um, different color sprinkles or, you know, like that strawberry glitter. For me, I'm not doing all that. I'm just doing this fresh strawberry cake. Um, but you can customize this in any kind of way you want. You can also add a couple of blueberries. Um, you know, if you wanted to, you could add the blueberries. I'm not adding blueberries. Um, you know, you can do this however you want. Uh, customize this cake and make it your own. But um, all you really need are the fresh strawberries, and it's just fabulous. So I'm going to chill this. This is going to be for dessert. I'm having some friends over. Um, I'm going to wind up giving out most of this cake because I don't keep cakes <laughs> um, at all. Uh, I might you know, slice myself a piece and then that's that and I'll give the rest away to friends and neighbors. Um, but I'm going to get this in my fridge for about 30 minutes. Um, if you have some whipped cream, that would be cool to put on top. I am out of whipped cream. I just thought about it. Um, but this is great all on its own. So in the fridge for 30 minutes, back out, I'm going to be slicing this for dessert. You know, I'm going to have to showcase and show you how moist it is in, on the inside. So, all right, I'm going to let this cake chill out, and it's going to be on. There is that nice slice of moist strawberry cake, sinful passion strawberry cake. It, <laughs> um... It's a super moist strawberry cake mix. And then um, I slice some fresh strawberries and put them all throughout the cake batter. So when you bite into, you know, take a bite, you're going to get some of that strawberry flavor from the cake batter and you're going to get some of the taste of the fresh strawberries. Look at that. Beautiful. Fresh, easy, delicious. Um, 
No one will know that you didn't make it, you know, totally from scratch. Um, somewhat from scratch. <laughs> All right, so look at that. Look how moist that cake is inside. Look at it. Yum. Beautiful. I want to thank you guys for watching and sticking around for this strawberry cake vlog and um, I hope you make it and I hope you customize it and personalize it and make it your own um, for you and your family. Um, Y'all take care. Until next time, that be more check out with her sinful passions, fresh strawberry cake with cream, cheese. Uh, icing and fresh strawberries. Look at that. So decadent. Beautiful. Any occasion. Any type of uh, dessert. You know, Sunday dinner, Saturday, weekend. It really doesn't matter. Um, make, it, make it soon. Alright. Peace out.